Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. So today we'll be start talking about uh, the MMP2543 material selection on lab 6 which is for uh, multiple constraints. So I'll be talking about uh, the demonstration on how we can use the CS Effect software to find uh, a trade-off because uh, often, uh, more often than not, Uh, you you be a you encounter a situation where you need to uh, trade off some uh, material properties that you think that you uh, either need to optimize or you want to have to minimize. So uh, this uh, lab show you how example on how we can use uh, up to two uh, material index that have different uh, objectives and how we can. Uh, Uh, solve the solution. Uh, solve the the problem. Okay, so so this is the uh, lab sheet. Okay, you open it in your our ULEARN. Okay, the setup is selecting materials that could uh, have uh, that could satisfy satisfy having uh, multiple and conflicting constraints. Okay. So uh, the thing is that overstrain or having multiple sometimes uh, and sometimes constraints are normal in material selection. For example, you have you want uh, for example in a vehicle, okay, for a car you want it to have a good strength, but at the same time at the same time you want it to be uh, lower in mass, so that it uh, it can uh, have a better fuel efficiency. Okay, and but uh, the traditional material, for example, in ferrous metal. It, it it can meet the 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 required strength, but at the same time the the it it, it has a poor uh, a strength to weight ratio. Uh, for but uh, for composites for example, even though it has good uh, uh, really uh, lower uh, mass, uh, good uh, lower density, but uh, in terms of its strength. It, Uh, often uh, is it cannot reach the the strength level of uh, of ferrous metals, so this is how how we can uh, uh, in the software can show how example that we can uh, see it. Uh, it can be as trivial uh, either as trivial as reducing mass but high strength as I mentioned as composites, or as complex as reducing mass, lower cost but high stiffness. For example, a magnesium alloy metal composites, and the key perspective is that there's always trade offs. You cannot satisfy everything, but you have to balance it out. So we open up our CS Certified software. So the example uh, that we're discussing is that uh, what we did for a uh, tie rod that we did for lab three. Okay, the text here is simple. It says that a rod with length L is loaded in tension and needed to support load F. It has to be of minimum weight without failing or exceeding to deform uh, elastically. Meaning that it must be in elastic deformation, it does not exceed plastic deformation, and more than its uh, deformation value. Okay, so the Hooke's law must apply. So complete the translation table in result one. So uh, the equation one. This is the equation that that needs to uh, be followed. Okay, it's just that uh, I'll explain the, the the how we get the 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 uh, the equation of the material index. Okay, of course, the uh, simple equation is mass is equal to uh, area times length and times density. Okay, so uh, uh, first is that force is equal to sigma yield, meaning that it must not exceed the yield uh, stress uh, times area. And so if we substitute this second equation to equation one, we get uh, we get uh, L, the, the length, F, For the force, and then rho over uh, sigma y, which is the uh, yield stress. Okay, and this would be the, the, the material index. The second one is that uh, stiffness, which is force over deformation, equals to uh, modulus of elasticity times area over L. Okay, you, so this set this equation you can find is that uh, for uh, for Hooke's law is actually force over k, which is the Uh, uh, the uh, the coefficient and then uh, times the deformation and uh, is equals to uh, the modulus of elasticity times area over uh, length. So and then if we substitute e in the uh, first equation again, so we'll get the the material index which is the l squared 
uh, times force over deformation uh, times density over E, which is we get the two, uh, two uh, material index. So here we put in the function is the tie. You can put this uh, as tensile rod. So the second one is that it must not deform when load and when under load sorry load f okay and the second is that it has a specified stiffness of f over and the length l and force f is specified so the objective is that we have to minimize the minimized uh, minimize mass and our few variables are the choice of materials and the section area a uh, the reason section area A because as you see the the, the two equations that, the, that we have uh, L the first mass equation which is L F over rho over sigma y meaning that we uh, we are not concerned on the section area meaning meaning that the area whether how large or, or small it be doesn't affect our our objective and also even the, the for the second equation okay so so we have these two uh, uh, equation so of course um, you know that uh, you remember that uh, in order for you have a uh, uh, the lower mass so we have this must be uh, this must be lower too okay this must be uh, as low as, uh, as possible so if you want to maximize it of course we just invert it so uh, we'll see on what we do with the uh, in the uh, software so We'll open up our CS Edifact software choosing level 2 after, choo after choosing level 2 then we choose select and edu level 2 and graph okay so here how do we uh, uh, insert the equation for the two material index okay first uh, for the y-axis okay so for the y-axis i choose uh, the uh, modus of felicity over uh, density okay so choosing mechanical properties okay the young's modulus you can put in the uh, the quotes there and then over density for the x-axis we'll put in to strength with the elastic limit over so this is the chart that we get okay the specific uh, the yes, modulus over density, or we call it as specific stiffness, and yield strength over density, which is called the specific strength. Okay, so since uh, if you uh, do the log equation for both uh, uh, material index, which uh, I've shown in uh, numerous times in our lecture and also in our uh, uh, in our previous uh, lab, okay, so you get by now you can see you get the slope as one so here also i mentioned uh okay selecting this create the material selection chart uh, uh, click on the envelope and click on the guidelines here slope one so we get all the guidelines okay so next uh, it says here to click on and choose slope one and click on the chart Click an, anywhere above the selection line so that you place the material that above the selection line, which is the uh, the materials that are higher. So I'll just click over here and then click anywhere on top. So anything that below this line is not considered. Okay. 
So uh, one we will show will suggest how uh, if the coupling equation m is equal to zero one. So if I click, if I choose here, so you can look on the lower left corner of the software. You see the uh, the coordinate for x uh, and y equals two point one five uh, exponential minus five and slope one, and you see the m the intersect at zero point zero five. So we'll just move it. To 0 0.1, and there you have. Okay, so what does it mean is that it uh, the intersect at uh, at the u uh, at the specific strength of uh, zero. Okay, that is the uh, what does it mean by the uh, by the intersect. Okay. So next is that uh, we have to uh, choose uh, for ferrous on ferrous metals only. So then I'll just click on three. Choosing metal, ferrous metal, insert and click on OK. And so we are just left with uh, seven uh, ferrous metal that meets the criteria. Okay, what does it mean is that uh, with this um, uh, with this uh, specified constraints, uh, specified uh, uh, criteria, only seven uh, met ferrous metal that meet this criteria. Okay. So we just, so you can just uh, screenshot here and then paste and list the final candidates uh, on the on the lab sheet. Next is that uh, we'll see what uh, if, what if we change with uh, composites. Uh, well, first off, I will show you what uh, I click here and show you cast iron gray here, and then uh, uh, you'll see later on what this uh, means uh, with this specific. Uh, stiffness and uh, specific strength uh, selection chart. So I'll just remove here, click on tree again, and then choose high bridge composites and just put in click on composites, insert. Okay, and I'm left now with uh, only five composite materials uh, uh, that can be chosen for this uh, according to this selection criteria. Okay, so you can again you can just screenshot here, uh, list the final result, and then paste in the uh, lab sheet. Okay, so um, what is this? Uh, how is the what is uh, important with, with what is the significance of this uh, selection chart? Okay, what does it mean is that um, when we say Young's modulus versus over density, which is the specific stiffness, is that we uh, Put in a ratio between the materials uh, stiffness or Young's uh, or it models of velocity over its weight. Okay, so you put uh, if you see here, okay, the highest uh, one of the highest that uh, I would say the uh, contender of the highest of the between uh, stiffness and uh, uh, density ratio. Okay, is this material boron carbide? Okay. And you look here for another second tender is the carbon fiber. So if I, uh, if you look here, carbon fiber uh, uh, reinforced polymer, you know, reinforced matches on isotropic. If you double click here, you see that uh, the Young's modulus is about sixty nine to one hundred and fifty gigapascal. Okay, and uh, it's uh, the Young's mod and its yield strength, uh, which is this. Uh, uh, tensile stress is a uh, uh, tensile strength. Uh, sorry, yield strength is about uh, 150 to 105 uh, uh, exponential three uh, megapascal, which is not uh, very high, but the stiffness is very high, about 150 gigapascal. Okay, and you look here, the density is about one point, uh, one, about 1,600 maximum, about 1,600 kilogram over. Uh, cubic meter. I mean, one cubic meter. The maximum it can go about uh, one thousand six hundred uh, kilogram. If I click on the uh, cast iron here, oh, sorry, yes, I choose brass. Mm. Let me look for cast iron. Okay. Okay, for, so for cast iron, you see here, the Young's, it's Young's modulus is a bit lower, uh, almost the same range as the composites, okay, 
and the yield strength is about uh, uh, I mean it, uh, somewhat lower also with uh, composite but the mass here the density okay the minimum density is about 7,000 uh, kilogram per cubic meter in one cubic meter it can go up the minimum about 7,000 uh, and then up to 7,200 which is I could say seven times heavier than composite but its strength is almost uh, on par with uh, composite Okay, so that's what it means about, uh, how significant is this uh, chart here is that we uh, we can identify materials that have uh, good uh, as you say uh, stiffness to uh, weight ratio and also applies here with the uh, yield strength uh, or the uh, yield strength uh, over over uh, density uh, or the specified strength and if you look at the extreme left or the lower uh, one of the lowest so you see here the as for example flexible polymer form because it has very weak strength and it's uh, even though uh, if I click here even though it's its density is just about 16 to 35 kilogram which is much uh, uh, about 7,000 lower than uh, than uh, cast iron but it has very poor stiffness okay it has very poor strength also this is what it means by the by the uh, by the specific uh, stiffness and uh, specified uh, specific strength uh, uh, such chart. Okay, so just uh, complete both of the exercise uh, and complete the result three, result four, result five, and result six, uh, and then you can just upload in ULEN for the submission. So thank you very much uh, for your attention today. Okay, I'll see you next in the next lectures. Thank you. Good day.